So I was just made a quick video, um, kind of going around my brand new Southland trailer. Um, I don't have a lot of time right now, but um, just made just a quick overview. Um, really like Southland trailers. Um, I bought Southland because they just had everything I wanted in a trailer. Um, this is an 18 foot flat plus two foot dovetail with the flip up ramps. And it's got two 8,000 pound axles with the uh, wet hubs and the Equiflex suspension, which uh, has a rubber bushing in there and makes it ride a lot nicer. Um, this was bought in Saskatchewan down in Southey. They're super good down there. Um, my only really dislike about the trailer is that they don't put treated wood on. It is a pretty decent wood decking. It's tongue and groove, but you can already see it's starting to dry out a little bit. It's all grayed and it's, you know, it's cracking. It's got some cracks it's already kind of dry. So it's one, my one gripe about Southland is they do not uh, put treated wood on. So um, instead of redecking it, which would be pointless because it's a literally a brand new trailer. Um, I'm just going to put this, uh, this uh, waterproofing stain and sealer, uh, sealer, sorry, on the deck, uh, two light coats, and uh, I'll continue this video when uh, when that's all done. And then I'm gonna be doing a little bit of a short series on everything else that I'm gonna do to the trailer, um, you know, modifying it, and making it better than it already is. And uh, yeah. Okay, this is just a quick progress shot. I just cut all the way along the edges and I'm rolling it on with this uh, kind of a rough surface roller. And uh, I'll show you when it's all done. All right, so after one coat, this is how it turned out. And I'm really happy with the coverage. Didn't even use a third of a can or a you know, pail and um it went on pretty evenly and this is just the first coat so i'm gonna go over it again in a few hours let it let it dry so i can kind of walk on it but uh yeah i'm happy with it okay so this is what the deck looks like um after two coats and it turned out just phenomenal, really. I mean, it's it's kind of a no-brainer on these Southland trailers. It's my only, so far, it's the only thing that I found I don't really like um, is that they use untreated wood and it's pretty much dried out by the time you go to buy it, just from sitting in the sun for a few months. So um, it's, a, it's a water seal, waterproof seal stain altogether. Um, the next thing I'm going to do before I put the winch battery in, um, it's a nice aluminum box, but, uh, when you're throwing your straps in there and whatnot, it's just going to get dented. So I have gone to Home Depot and bought just some rubber matting here and, uh, I've cut it to size. And so now it just... It fits in there nice. Um, and then when you throw your straps and whatnot in there, it's, it's a little bit nicer. Just go, doesn't make a loud bang. It doesn't dent the bottom of it. It's just gonna prolong the life of it, I think. And um, yeah, right now I'm painting the, um, the jack handle. It's actually been painted, it's already dry. It was for some reason just faded. Like it was not a high gloss like this. It was just, it was just faded, so it's way over there drying, and um, I will uh, keep you posted on the on the uh, winch install. All right, so it's been about an hour or so. We've um, fabricated our battery bracket, um, so it's basically just angle iron at the bottom, welded two nuts on and then uh, welded some flat bar on and then also welded a nut 
on there. And then you've got a bolt coming in from the back side holding it and uh, two bolts coming up from the bottom. And then you don't need to worry about holding a nut on one side and everything's just uh, welded in place. So that should work out really good. Winch will be mounted here and I'll just run the cables right into the battery. And um, yeah, that's probably where we'll pick up. Okay, here we are. Um, I kind of just got on a roll and didn't um, film everything piece by piece. Um, I was kind of in a rush and just figured it'd be easier to show you guys the end result. So, um, here is the, the winch mount. So it's just a two inch square tube um, welded to the frame. And then it's also supported by this angle iron there. Um, everything turned out really good. So now I can remove it if I have to. This is the winch I chose. Um, super nice synthetic rope winch, 10,000 pounds. Should, uh, should do the trick for everything we need to do with it. Um, so just, I gotta cut that zip tie, but um, just ran everything through those uh, strain reliefs. And then uh, they were a little bit too big for the cable, so I put some rubber grommets on the inside. That'll keep all the water out. Um, this here is for the battery charger, um, which is of course mounted there, goes to the battery. And uh, yeah, I mean, everything turned out really good. Spare tire, uh, tire wrench. And then uh, of course the winch has wireless remote and the wired remote. And uh, and then I mounted the spare tire and man, did they just choose the perfect spot to put that because I mean the door, the door just barely hits it. And uh, if you look down there, it's just resting on the frame. So it's literally in the perfect spot, I, I think. I mean, I could, use different holes on the tire to probably bring it up a bit. Um, but I, I don't mind it the way it is right now. And uh, painted the painted the jack handle, which, you know, makes a huge difference. And that's all for now. Um, it's everything I'm gonna do to it for a little bit. Um, these fenders are gonna be modified. So I'm gonna cut them off and I'm gonna weld hinges here so if it's a it's a if it's a big truck or whatever and it's uh, won't fit between the wheel wells you can just tip you know the the fenders will literally just kind of like tip out and they'll be on a hinge and then i'll have like a locking mechanism and then it'll be kind of like a, a general purpose it'll do kind of be able to be able to haul just about anything with a fifteen thousand pound capacity and uh, yeah, that's it for now, guys.